Oh right, hello everybody, what's going on? It is Mark here from youtube.com slash tutorials and it is good to be saying hello to you because I haven't done it in months. So uh, hello, how are you doing? That's good to hear, I'm doing great also. You didn't even ask, did you? But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, what's going on? Sorry for you know not posting a video in ages, college, all that stuff, life and all that. Uh, today we're back with the Sony Vegas Pro 12 tutorial, yes Pro 12. And basically what I'm going to be showing you today is the start of a sub-series, a little mini-series I'm going to be doing called Hollywood Transitions. So straight into this tutorial. What this tutorial is, is it's a, a common transition or effect you'd sometimes see used in films. Or of course, your own videos now if you'd like. Where basically what you're having is you're having a video uh, come in in separate parts. Little rectangles or you can do circles, or you can do whatever you want. But uh, you can customise it to your liking, but I'm going to show you the basics right now. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to do, so let's get into it. Alright, so first of all, of course, make sure you save your last project, open a new project, and bring in the video you're going to be using. Okay. Now, also, if you want to use this as a transition, what you want to do is you want to bring in the clip that you will be playing first, and put that on the bottom video track, and then put the clip that you're going to be transitioning into on the top video track. Okay, so this is my clip I'm going to be transitioning into. And we don't want it too long, so... Uh, okay, no, don't like those guys. Okay, there we go. Bam. Right, so we're just going to say for the sake of this tutorial that this black solid color here is my previous video clip. And the one on top is the clip I'm transitioning into. Now, this the way we're going to be doing this tutorial is going to be different if you're not in Sony Vegas Pro 12. However, don't worry, you can still do it. So in Pro 12, or in Sony Vegas, what you need to do is you need to open the video of Empan Crop. You can right click on the top video track clip, video of Empan Crop, open that up. Then what you're going to do is you're going to tick this little box called Mask down here at the bottom. Now in Sony Vegas Pro 12, we have shapes that we can mask in, a rectangular, uh, an oval, okay. So I'm going to be using the rectangular. Now if you don't, you can always just use the standard anchor creation tool and create your own rectangles. Just be, you know, take your time, be slow. And, uh, you know, it's basically the same thing. Now in Pro 12, and I'm going to select the rectangle tool. I'm going to click and just drag this rectangle. Now as I said, if you're in a previous version of Vegas, just draw this by yourself. It's no big deal. You know, it's simple, okay. Now what we have to do is with the mask is at the very start, we want this mask to be out of the actual frame, okay? So we're going to click and drag. Now it's a lot easier for me. If you're in past versions of Sony Vegas, you need to actually highlight the whole mask and click it and drag it. It's a bit more strenuous, but you can still do it. So obviously, here's a Pro in Sony Vegas Pro 12. A lot quicker uh, with some of these masking features. So at the start, we want to move it just outside the clip. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock, I already have it done. Basically I want to click this little, uh, these directional arrows, so it says move in X only. We don't want it moving up and down, just in X. Now down here in our keyframes, we're going to drag in a few seconds, let's say, maybe into one, one minute, okay? We're going to click, and we're going to drag the mask in, so it's uh, completely across, okay? Now that's number one done, that was very simple, okay? Very, very simple. Now what we want to do is we want to start our second mask. Now again in Sony Vegas Pro 12 you can just simply double click this rectangular mask, right click, click duplicate, click and well, we have to turn off our lock here, okay, click and drag that down to about there, okay, or wherever you want. Again if you're in a previous version of Sony Vegas it'll take a bit more time, you can still do the whole effect, don't worry, you can still do the whole effect, okay. Uh, again. As this mask starts, we want it to be out of frame. So we're going to go ahead and just lock it on the X axis only first. Move this out of frame. So we've got our first one coming in. Then we want our second one to fly in for about here. Okay. So we're just going to click, drag that all the way across. And then again, we're just going to right click, duplicate, create a third little mask here. And again, we're going to want that to start off on the very left. Come in a small bit. You'll be more precise, as precise as you like. And drag this all the way over. That's the very start. Okay, so if we play this back, first one, so top one, bottom one, or middle one, bottom one. I'm all over the place. 
and basically you can change it, you know, customize it to your, your own liking, change the speed, change the shapes if you want, put in custom shapes, make it all funky and cool and stuff. And yeah, anyway, first part completely done. Okay, very, very simple. Coming in, flying in, change the speeds if you want them to, what's going on there, a little error in the preview. Uh, you know, whatever you want. Now what I'm going to do is, if we look at our preview, we've got our three bars here. We still have three or four, <laughs> can't even count four black areas here that we need to fill in. Now instead of just doing the same effect, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do the same effect but backwards, okay? So we're gonna create a rectangular mask. Let's cover up this top bit here. But we're gonna start this on the right side, okay? Start on the right side, come in and make these really snappy, okay? So click and drag over here. Okay, that's one done. Right click, duplicate that little baby. Click, drag it down here, cover this black area. Again, we're going to lock it here, move over a small bit in the keyframes, click, and whoops, it is back here, back to the bat, last keyframe, it should be out of frame, move up a small bit, click, drag this baby in, bam, there we go, again, right click, duplicate that baby, drag it down, cover the next black area, we're going to want that to start off outside, come up a few keyframes, and click, drag this baby in. I love calling them babies today, I don't know why. They're just fun, what am I doing? What are you doing, Mark? Look, I'm getting all distracted. Call them babies and whatnot. Again, okay, last one duplicate. Now if this one is too small for some reason, all you have to do is click and enlarge it, or if it's too big, which it shouldn't be for in this instance. But if it is, again, you can just adjust the size here, okay? Again, gonna lock this in the x-axis outside, please few keyframes and push this baby up. Now, here we go. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, that was really quick. We didn't even get to my little koala there, my pretty little koala, we didn't even get to him. Very simple, really nice effect. Great for a quick transition. You could even have a video clip down here if you didn't want to have just black, okay? So transitioning between two clips, it's very simple to do, looks great. And yeah, that sums up number one of Hollywood transitions. If I went too quick, leave a comment or message me and I will get back to you. If it's a problem with this tutorial, it's better to leave a comment so I can get back to you there. Uh, if you have any requests, suggestions, anything like that, you can message me or hit me up in the Twitter thing. Uh, that'll be in the description. And as usual, you know, have a good time. Thanks for watching. And I hope to have a few more tutorials like this over Christmas. Happy holidays.